If you search online for mousetraps, you might be overwhelmed with the number of options. There are hundreds of different mousetraps for sale, and choosing the right one can be a real challenge. Well, on this channel, we test out every mousetrap we can find. And today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out two very common mousetraps you'll find in the stores. They're clothespin style mousetraps, and they're made by one of the largest mousetrap companies in the world. They're sold under the brand name Victor. This one's called the Victor Safe Set, and this one's called the Victor Quick Set. But actually, Victor's been selling these style of mousetraps since the 1950s. Before they called it the Quick Set, it was called the Easy Set. Now, a nice thing about these traps is they are easy to set. Just click the back. You place the bait in there, the mouse will come along and get caught. Now, I do have quite a bit of mousetrap history here. The silver ones replaced these original green ones, which had a problem with getting rusty. Now, I have to admit, I tried to make this mousetrap video several years ago, and I had a problem. I set up all my mousetraps in the barn at once, I made a mousetrap gauntlet, and a squirrel came along. It checked out the mousetraps and stole the most valuable one, the green one. It was only worth $20, but it was nowhere to be found. So after replacing the green one that was stolen by the squirrel, I decided I'm not going to test out these in the barn. Instead, we're going to set up the two modern ones. We'll start with the Victor Safe Set. To set it, you push the back and it clicks into place. Now a nice thing about this trap is the trigger is covered. You can push it down and it won't go off. And it's already pre-baited. It's covered with this red piece of plastic. When the mouse goes in there and tries to get the bait, it will lift up the flap and get caught. Just like that. Now to bait it, you can refresh it as well with peanut butter right there. That folds over. We'll set that again. You can set it along a wall. A mouse will come along, try to get that. When it lifts it up, it slams down and has a sharp piece of plastic right in the middle. It's really designed to grab a mouse's body. It's not going to pull it out. It's a very good trap. Also, we have a Victor Quick Set. We'll zoom in. Again, you just push the back and it clicks. And for bait, you don't place it here on the trigger. Instead, there's a place up top. There's a little cup, it's kind of hard to see. You put the peanut butter there, the mouse will come along and use this as a stool. And when it does, it steps on it, and the trap slams down on the mouse. Both options seem to work well, but we're gonna test them out in the barn. Now I have set up these traps in my house before and caught mice with them. But one problem is when they grab the mouse, sometimes the mouse flops around and the trap's not in the same place. So I built a box for them. That way we can show the trap going off, we won't lose the trap, and I don't have to worry about the YouTube censorship. So I'll place the traps in back here. There's an entryway for the mouse to enter. We'll set it, we can see the trap going off, and test them out. I have one on this side, we have a double. I'll just place the lid on top, and that way a mouse can choose right or left, and either way it will lead to a trap. Now I have a saying on this channel, the early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Well in this case, it will be the third mouse. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get a double with our Victor Safe Set and Quick Set mouse traps. Well, once again, I was sabotaged by a rodent. The first time, a squirrel stole my trap, and this time, it was a pack rat. 
Things started out well. We caught a mouse in the quick set, but then a pack rat came along, lifted off the lid, set off this trap, and stole the trap with the mouse. So I'm gonna have to try it again, and I have a solution. I have some hinges here. We'll attach the lid, secure it, and that way a pack rat can't get inside, set off the trap, and take my catch. Okay, here's our new and improved box. We have the entry holes, a divider, the two traps. I even have a hinge lid. That way the squirrels and pack rats can't steal my traps and I can lock it in place with this pin. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can get a mouse double in the Victor safe set and quick set mouse trap. Well finally, we got a double with our Victor safe set and quick set mouse traps. They wanted the bait, went in the box, hit the trigger, and got caught. And we weren't sabotaged by squirrels and rats. Now I don't want these mice to go to waste, so I'm going to feed them to wild animals. There's a raccoon in my backyard. I'm going to see if it will come along and enjoy the mice we caught in the Victor set mouse traps. Well, it looked like the raccoon enjoyed the mice we caught with the Victor safe set and quick set mouse trap. Overall, they're a very good trap. They worked well. The benefits are they're easy to set and I'd feel comfortable using them around pets and kids. The biggest downfall though is it's not a very powerful trap. It does make it safer, but it doesn't instantly kill the mouse. It's more of a slow choker. So the mouse might flop around and you might not find the trap in the same location. But if you're worried about safety, this is a good option. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. I also love seeing pictures of people's pet cats watching Mousetrap Mondays. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.